Hi, uh, this is a showcase of the application with a late user login. So the problem I'm trying to solve here is uh, the common e-commerce problem that uh, users do not want to log in before doing their purchases, but they would like to avoid login process if possible. Uh, in Adalo, uh, user database is the essential part of the app. So uh, I'm trying to avoid uh, the explicit login for the users. So I've created the showcase. Uh, there are three options here. This is a starting screen. So a uh, user can start as guest. Uh, there's a lot of uh, debug information in the screens. I will um, explain it um, in the video after. So uh, let's imagine you log in as guest. Uh, in fact, uh, the um, pseudo user is created, not real user. So this is an auto generated uh, user ID and uh, this entire screen should not show up. So a uh, user, guest user goes directly to uh, the home screen. And in the home screen user, this pseudo, pseudo user uh, sees the catalog uh, of the stuff uh, they want to buy. So you can see that there is a user information, there is a, a user info, there is a uh, cart info that for after a uh, user goes to home screen, the uh, shopping cart is being created, shopping cart record. And uh, you can see that this is an anonymous user. So uh, then first showcase, uh, you just want to do your purchases without registering. So you add to cart, then you go to your shopping cart uh, and you can see that there's an item there. Then you go to checkout uh, and you want to enter your email. Say this will be uh, user 111, uh, some comments. Uh, and uh, uh, then you proceed to checkout and uh, you have an option whether you want to continue shopping anonymously or you can you want to sign up. So you can continue as guest and voila, the order is placed uh, and uh, you're in the real application, you will receive the email uh, with the shopping cart and all the order details and maybe payment information. But the fact is that in this routine, uh, the uh, order has been completely anonymous. So we need not force user to register. So, and you see that uh, this uh, order has a virtual owner. So let's imagine uh, another user logs in, uh, starts the application, again, starts as guest. And uh, you see that the other user type is generated, the other user ID is generated. Then you go shopping as it was in previous example. Uh, you add to cart, uh, everything's fine. Then you have a cart name. Uh, you have router, you go to checkout, say that, let's call it user 222. Uh, then you proceed and let's select the option that you want to sign up to keep up my orders. So we sign up and uh, we go to the uh, password screen. There are two options. So it's again, this is an experimental app. So uh, we can substitute the uh, uh, fake email with the real one or we can create a new user I'm not sure which one is way is the best so let's replace so here it is so you can see that uh, the order is placed that the logged in user has changed was changed the login was changed uh, still you have the uh, owner the new owner and uh, if you go back to home screen uh, you see that it will not uh, log us out, um, keep, keep us logged in, and this is a real user. Uh, let's imagine that this user, user222, uh, logged out and then decided to go do shopping as guest. So the third user, pseudo user, is created. Uh, okay, let's go shopping. Mm, add to cart. So everything is anonymous here, as you can see. Let's go to shopping cart, go to checkout. And uh, again, enter your contact details. Uh, and here, 
For example, user enters his or her email. And then when we go to next screen, uh, uh, we the app can recognize that there is an account with, with such mail exists. So uh, you can log in with the existing account. Uh, let's log in. Uh, and uh, voila, uh, the order is placed. So uh, you see that the owner of the order has changed to this uh, old user, but still the comments is the third order. And you see that the original order name is generated based on the uh, this anonymous uh, username. So uh, let's go back to home screen, but uh, let's uh, examine the database. In the database, in the user records, you have three records. So uh, this first one was a complete uh, guest user. And uh, uh, you remember that we, uh, for the first user, we did not uh, enter, we did not register at all. So we still have this uh, uh, card connected to this user. We can see that this is auto-generated username and this is a pseudo user. Uh, for the second user, uh, you remember that uh, we have decided to uh, register after mm, checkout. So uh, the original name was this one. It was a guest user then, but still we have that this uh, pseudo user is false. Uh, so we have changed the original name of uh, uh, four ninety three something to. Uh, to, to the real one. Uh, and we have two car shopping carts atta attached. So the first one was the, uh, let's have a look at the shopping cart. Uh, uh, the first one was created uh, like four minutes ago and it was attached to this user and you see the original shopping cart name. And this one was created when we're, we tried to use the app for the third time. And uh, uh, this is the original shopping cart name, the derived from the username. But this shopping cart was reattached to the real user after, after logging. So, and we can see that in the users database, uh, the third one is, uh, Orphaned doesn't have any shopping carts, and in fact, uh, as uh, after the order placement user is being logged out, so this uh, account will never be ever used in future. And uh, well, the first one as well. So uh, here is the showcase. Um, well, thank you.